Yo, what's going on, guys? CJ is back. What episode of Carolina Heart Games Project Mode MLS? We had a terrible playoff run, followed up with the craziest of all seasons. Uh, by cra- I mean, it wasn't that crazy. It was pretty awesome. Uh, I had a lot of fun reassembling the CJ's also. We'll see how they do. They went 6 and 1 in the preseason. You see a lot of signings come through right quick. Um. It's for the minor league team because we have a shite minor league squad and I want them to do good because we do have some good prospects down there. We just don't have a good uh, team around them to help them win. So I shouldn't go ahead and do that right now in front of you guys. Uh, we'll just uh, go on and edit the minor league squad. We'll go best lines, only the best lines. Uh, okay, now this guy, see, like, this guy can get scratched. And I'm going to go ahead and put in Gallant, yes. Okay, and then you can move him up the lineup like so. Mayorov, we could take him out for a prospect. Um, we're gonna go with Talixson. I believe that's our main. Yep, Willie Grinder. Boom, we'll move him up to the third line. When it can stay, I'm just trying to see if there's anyone else. Bonvi. Okay, bonvi has got low elite. Um, so yikes. So, someone's got to come out. Um, I think I'm going to end up trading a lot. Wait, you will leave him out for now. It's fine. You can't have everyone in the lineup. Uh, and then that is our defense good. The net, Ludwig, and Red. That's fine. Perfect. Okay, good. We can go. Excellent. Now we can start simulating for real. I just wanted to get that in order. I'm going to go ahead and put in a save. We signed a lot of guys that really want Charlotte to compete this season. Some of the other guys grow, especially because we got a lot of good young defense. We only have a couple forwards, really, but it's just the defense that I'm focusing on. Because defense right now for us is kind of weak um, in the NHL, beside, outside of two or three guys. We're just looking to uh, grow the youth, okay? 4 1, not a terrible start. Trying to get 60 wins, realistically, 45 50. I think it's doable. I think it's a reasonable ask. If we're going for 50 wins, we're already 10% of the way there, so. There's also that. We're 10% to 62, so I don't know. Just don't know. Oh, my neck cracking. All right. Jesus Christ. Bro, we're actually doing hella good right now. Can we get, can we get that 10th dub and be 20% to 50 wins? Bro, we do, but then we lose to Edmonton. McDavid's pissed. We were in Edmonton, too. He's pissed. 10 years after he got drafted by those fuckers. Anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Oh, wow. And then we just dropped... Four of our last five games. That certainly takes you off pace. Then we come back with a dub and another one. Get another one. Another one. Another one. Damn it. Anyways. I thought we had a really good offseason because I, it, we kind of did away with high overall players. And we brought in guys that we know simulate well. Both in NHL 17 and 18. Uh, for example, Borgstrom's constantly 25 to 35 goals. McDavid's always point per game. Uh, Kaprizov's always 90 points. You know, like, we're getting guys that simulate well, not not just their overall number being high. We're, we're looking into everything now. Bro, we're 40% of the way to 50 wins. I love it. I love it. Or is that 45%? I don't know. I think it's 40%. No, 40%. I'm shot. I'm shot. I'm shot. Okay, wait for it. Now, wait. Now we're 50% of the way there. See? That's what I'm talking about. We're actually doing pretty good. Uh, Charlotte's doing very well, too. The 2010 one. Speaking of Charlotte, uh, I didn't even realize this until my mother pointed out at dinner last night. Apparently, the Hartford Wolfpack have a home. Uh, have a home. They have an away and away again against the Checkers this weekend. So, I will be at both of those games yet again because why the hell not? Hartford Wolfpack are in town. I'm just trying to see Anderson and Keitel play. And who knows? Maybe by that time. Uh, well, actually, I doubt it. Never mind. I doubt Ronning will be. There by this weekend. Actually, no. There's not a shot in hell. Anyways, maybe maybe we'll get some other prospects there. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'm just happy to see Kyle Anderson. But I'm very unhappy that I won't be seeing Ryan Graves. Because, as the most of you know, Ryan Graves is my only Hartford Wolfpack jersey. And I got that jersey in confidence that he would be a hella NHL defensive for the Rangers one day. Clearly, I was wrong. And they value Chris Biggers over Ryan Graves. So, if the Wolfpack want to reimburse me for my Graves jersey and just buy me a Biggers jersey, hell, I'm not going to be upset. Not that Biggers will be anything, but I feel like it would be... What's the right word? 
I don't know the right word, but it would make sense, kind of. In a, in a way, if you think about... I don't know the word. I'm shot. You know me. I'm getting old. I don't have a lot of years left in me, all right? Getting up there in age. Anyways, 35, 14, and 0. That is not bad at all. But we could be doing a little bit better uh, if five or six of those regulation losses were overtime losses. We'd be sitting a lot prettier. But alas, I... Ooh. I'm actually going to take a look at this. Who is this bell guy? Is he a defenseman or is he a forward? I probably should have looked that before I... Anyways, uh, uh oh, the, oh, that's right. This guy was picked first overall. That is freaking right. I totes forgot about this guy. Well, what about Redenbach? I mean, oh, no, he's growing. And they want us to give up more? Hell no. Redenbach's growing. Get that shit out of here. I'll take Bell off your hands if you want me to, but not at the cost of Redenbach or any of my NHL players. Actually, what I could do is I could, yeah, I, I'm going to revisit that trade for Bell. But I'm gonna give. I'm gonna offer him different pieces. Because that's actually highly interesting. Not that we need them necessarily, but you know, just to, just to have them in case someone else doesn't work out, or you know, here comes the money. Here we go. Here comes money, 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 dollar, 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 dollar. You know, where the world goes around, money. Uh, don't want him. Um. Okay. One second. I'm gonna be right here. I'm not going too far. Let's go to my fish. Oh. Um, Jet Wu for a first. Okay, you know what? No, I listen. They're addressing our need on defense. I can appreciate that, but we do not need him. We are doing just fine. I do not want. Br really, get the hell out of here! Stupid. Nine not. Uh, first overtime loss of the season. Uh, you know what? Come to think of it, we only really have 40 wins and 83 points right now. That's not very good. Again, it goes back to if some of those were overtime or shootout losses, they'd be more valuable than regulation losses. So we're not really... We're doing good. Listen, I'm, I'm going to take 43 wins by the deadline because we're going to beat the Devils right here, correct? 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 Ahem. Ahem. Ham. That's what I thought. So that's 87 points. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. 87 by the deadline is not terrible at all. Not at all. Uh, let's go ahead and put in a save. Let me make sure everything's recording. It is. Oopsie daisies. McAvoy got the OT winner. Interesting. Very interesting to say the least. All right. Um. Yes. Yes. Standings. Okay. Boom. Um, no, I want to see the entire NHL. The entirety of the league. I expect nothing else. All right, wow. We actually have a, um, a pretty significant lead over the NHL. Uh, more importantly, we're destroying the league in wins. It's just the issue is, like I said, we have no overtime losses or shooter losses. Uh, goals for it. Looks like we're dominating. Yeah, not by that much, though. The Rangers are right behind us. Uh, okay. Goals against. All right, and they well they have games at hand. That's why. Okay, so we're we're pretty much first, yeah. Because if you look at GAPG, we do, we have the lower one because they have two more games to play unless, unless they get two shutouts or give up less than two goals in two games. I mean, yeah. Uh, power play. Uh, what? Okay, the power play is terrible. Uh, penalty kill. Penalty kill is pretty bad as well. Okay, so... Well, before I even look at stats, let's take a look at our penalty kill and power play units. Because that is going to be subject to change if they are that low. Boom. Let's see what the issue is. Wow, Trip grew to 88 overall. Stepan grew to 83. Well, that's expected, but I did not think Trip was going to grow, grow any more than he did. Um, yeah, that shot is insane. His defensive stats are lackluster at best. Um, he's got really good stick checking, decent defensive awareness, terrible shot blocking, pretty good faceoffs. Oh, that's, I'm looking at Borgstrom. What the flip? What the trip? All right. And that, that makes a little bit more sense. I was a little confused when I saw his defensive stats. Okay. It's the same thing. The passing and puck control suck. 
Deacon hand eye, great. Offensive awareness, great. Discipline, nah. Eh, not very good. Defensive stats, beautiful. Wrist shot is amazing. Slap shot is terrible. Skating is great across the board. Physical, phenomenal across the board. I'm worried that he's going to cap off at 88 and his passing and puck control are never going to go up. I don't care about his slap shot. I just want his passing and puck control to get better because that is terrible. Um, uh, let's see. I have one growing back here. Good. Um, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, special teams. What is going on with the power play? Who is not producing? Pretty solid. You've got 11 power play points. That's pretty bad. You've got 12 power. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have nine. Uh, majority of them being goals. Uh, Borgstrom. How are you doing on power play? Seven power play points. Uh, wow. Okay, okay. Um, I think this could be fixed with just switching up of units. A I think we get the problem is right here. Yeah, we we've got we got shooters on that line. Let's get Valino up here. Let's get a shooter up there. Throw Keller down there because he can take face offs. Switch Keller and Borgstrom. Let Skinner shoot from his wing. This might work out a little bit better. So yeah, that's still majority shooters. At least Valino could be a passer on that pair. I don't know. Uh, and then penalty kills got to get fixed too. Okay, Lati and Vigier clearly is not working. So let's go. What's Vigier's face? Uh, I don't that face was. Kachuk. Let's switch around Kachuk and Lottie. You know what it is? It's got to be that. S this is this is the problem. It's not the forwards that are doing anything. Although I'm gonna put Kachuk up there anyways. It's got to be the defense. We're gonna boom. And Grossman. Is there anyone I can change him with? You know, Redenbach might be the better choice. I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to him. Spread the buff a little bit. And then goalies, I'm not worried about our goalies. Uh, let's take a look at individual stats. Oops, I didn't advance day, did I? I didn't. Well, I guess there's no trade deadline for us. That's great. That's freaking phenomenal. I didn't get to, I didn't even get to take a look at the trade block. Whatever. Um, boom, Kaprizov, Keller, Borsham, Dolan. Yeah, I mean, again, it's one of those things you can't really expect everyone to perform when you have a shitload of scores on your team. Like, I'm not even upset at most of these guys. We're we're just we're chilling. We're fine. I'm not I'm not angry at anybody. I mean, I wish certain guys would produce better, but there's nothing you can do. The scoring got to be distributed evenly throughout the players. That's how EA Sports runs their game because, it, again, it's just a matter of inconsistency and unrealism from EA. That's just what it comes down to. I mean, you you could you could argue if you have too much firepower on a team, you're not gonna. It's not all gonna. Not all their stats are gonna be ridiculous, but. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. You take a look at teams like the old Islanders teams. They'd have like a bunch of guys over 100 points. Same thing with the old Oilers. So maybe maybe EA is doing something wrong. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I just think me personally, you could have a bunch of good... You could have two or three 40 goal scorers on your team and or two or three 80-plus point scorers on your team. The Lightning, here you go. There you go, the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're doing, they're doing it right now. So Increase the score. That's all I got to say. Close out the season strong. Jesus. Bro. Oh, of course, we finished out on an L, but Jesus, that was a freaking end of the season push. We didn't get the 60 wins, but we got 57, which is just as good. I think that's a president trophy right there for your boys. It's not a turnaround. Is that not a turnaround? I mean, Jesus. A turnaround and a half. Put in a save, first and foremost. Um, save file. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, overwrite current file. Why is my remote not working? Do you hear, do you hear that? Do you hear that? I'm ready. Listen. I think my game froze. God damn it. Come on. Oh, there it is. Took a minute. Um, yep. Okay. Um, sure. We'll go here. I do want to take a look at the minor league stats. Yes. We'll go here. Okay. Well, we won our division quite convincingly. Not really much of a challenge here. Um, but the entire NHL is a different story. 
Okay, yeah, we won it pretty convincingly. Uh, the president trophy that be. Uh, goals for? Did we win? Oh no, one pick had one more goal than we did. Okay, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, goals against. Didn't even win in goals against. Huh. Finish runner up for both. All right, it is what it is. Uh, power play actually got better. Good. Uh, penalty kill got worse. Okay, penalty kill got worse. Beautiful. Uh, individuals. McDavid, great year. I know, listen, they're not point per game, but it is what it is. Like, I mean, you can't, unfortunately, it's just the way the game is. A good year, it's a good year, good year. How many shots did, uh, 277, that's insane. Uh, Dolan, good. Uh, Borg, fine. McAvoy, good, good. Trev, yep. Uh, I mean, I wish we could have gotten a little bit more out of Skinner, considering he's a freaking sniper. 88 overall, but again, I get too upset. Grossman, I think has a career high in every category. That it is, and significantly so. Assists alone would have had it been a career high. Not goals, though. That's surprising. Lilligren, good. Vigier, Redenbach. Perfect. Okay. Take a look at the entire NHL. See how everyone did. Yeah, Line A took over in there. Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot about this guy. For him. Uh, Shifley, Lafreniere. Cobiste. Uh, Delvin, yeah. Not, I mean, not nothing too crazy. Wow, this guy's a tank. Should have traded for him. Huh. Um, okay. Oh, we didn't take a look at goalies. I'd imagine we had the winningest goaltender. Yeah, by a lot. The kid's got hot. You got to give it to him. He's got hot. Uh, okay, let's go back to us. Go to the AHL. Okay, uh, Tuka Rask lit his league up. Um, yeah, he had a freaking hell of a year. Uh, I want to take a look at the, yeah, okay, this is more important. Really, I, I would have expected him to have a lot more goals with a shot. Evidently not. That's still a good year, though. Again, this, the scoring spread out just like it is in the NHL, so. Uh, Gallant actually didn't have a bad year. He actually grew a little bit. Uh, still probably going to trade him, though. Live it, love it. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care about these guys. Perfect. Uh, let's take a look at the AHL leader in points. See if maybe we'll acquire him next year. Uh, this guy. Not even point per game. Wait, what? 89 offensive awareness, 75 everything else. That's terrible. Okay. Wow, this guy's really good. Why is he in the minors? He's the best player in the minor leagues right there. All right. Let's see Jacob Ford check down there. Uh, one last thing to do, and let's take a look at the playoff tree. And that, we're going to call it a video. Live it. Love it. Uh, playoff tree. Oh, right. She has so. You got Minnesota, Dallas. You got Winnipeg, Vancouver. You got LA, Calgary, Edmonton, Nashville. Columbus versus the Rangers, your Carolina Hurricanes versus the New Jersey Devils, the Red Wings and Lightning again, and the Ottawa Senators versus the Philadelphia Flyers. So, thank you everybody for watching. And if you want to say that, I'm going to hear you on the next one.